Hi everyone, we're going to convert a Python file into an executable file and to do that we're going to use the py installer. So let's go to the requirements. As you can see, so the py installer works on Windows, Mac OS, Linux and also other platforms. Let's go to how to install py installer. So to install just pip install py installer or if you already have it just to an upgrade in case you have an older version and now to create our executable file let's go to using py installer let's open our command prompt let's change the directory to where our python files are So cd, change the directory. So we begin with py installer. And then dash w, why the dash w? So if you don't do the dash w, when we execute our executable file, we will see a console. And we don't want that console. And to Disable it, you just need to write dash w, as you can see here, non-console. And also want to add an icon for our executable file. So to do that, we need, as you can see here, i and then file.ico. So here, dash i, and then my icon is called download.ico. And now we're going to write our main Python file. My main here is the GUI main. So GUI main dot pi and let's press enter. So here we're going to wait about a minute in order to finish. Okay, we finished converting our Python file. So let's go to dict here or dist. As you can see, it's a folder. So we can, for example, zip this folder and send it to our friends and executable file is this one double click i noticed that the icon window icon changed to the python default i really don't know why okay let's see the let's export now as a standalone app so here there's a difference this is a folder export and there is a standalone so the difference is that in case you did a small change in the folder, you just need to send this file, which is only, for example, nine megabyte. If you convert it into standalone app, if you, even though you, you make a small change, we have to send the whole standalone file, which is going to be a huge uh, in size. It depends on your on your dependencies that the size will be. I think if you have a small tool, so standalone is better. But if you have a big project where maybe the, your file which is 200, 500 megabytes, so it's better to export it as a folder because in case you did a small change, in case you make a small change, you just need to update the, the file that was changed. For example, you update this and if you updated a package, you got just send the package only. Of course, if you updated all your packages, you need to update everything. You need to send everything to the client. Okay, let's remove this and export or can convert as a standalone. For standalone executable file, we're going to use the dash f as it says here in the documentation. So create one file bundle executable. So that's how, what we're going to do. CLS. So it's simple. We're going just to add here dash and f as you can see and then press enter. And now we're going to wait about a minute. Our executable file finished converting. Let's go to dist. And this is our standalone app. It has 23 megabytes. Yeah, because the tool doesn't have a lot of dependencies. And as you can see here, and we have the same problem that the icon here isn't showing because if I run my Python file, I will see the icon here. So this problem happened when converting. So if you know what's the solution, please comment it in the comment below.